Whippo inspired Nemesis would be so insane. I think so, yeah. I think that would be an excellent top side. But honestly, I think Quads is really fucking good. So I'm really happy. Like, I'm so happy. Quads good. Yeah. I'm so it's happy that FlyQuest took a risk on Quad. Like, I'm so fucking happy, man. Like, I have no shame in saying it. And I didn't say it because I didn't want to, like, get people to be mad at me and shit. <clears> but <throat> I made a big problem out of Jensen being on our team. Oh, is this your first time saying this? Oh, speak more. That's, this is what hold I on, like hold on. We can hear. pause LCK. All right, hold on. <laughs> well, listen. Okay, you know what, Eric? Fuck it, fuck it. Rippo, hold on. If I you want to, if you want to go into the flames, I'll go into the flames with you. Okay, I won't. I won't no, let you down here. I'm just saying. Like, I tried to block an the average of five games a day on a Korean boot camp, and I was not okay with that. I said this is not acceptable. You well, can't come to Korea <clears> and have less LP than your coach. That's not okay. Nukedak was higher LP than him. I said under no circumstance as a professional player can you boot camp for an international event and have lower LP than your fucking coach. I don't care about any excuses or reasons or fucking history or anything. If you are in this lower LP than your fucking head coach that plays four pawn and picks the same champions you pick and outperforms you in solo queue on those same fucking champions, when he, whilst doing that, is sitting next to you and telling you, giving you fucking motivation to grind solo queue, there's a fucking problem. And I made a big problem out of that. A big Yeah, but you weren't problem. you weren't the I only one that made the problem. This shit is not acceptable. I under no circumstance want to see this shit. I want quad in at MSI, and they told me that can't happen. So I was just like, well, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. I was happy to play with Jensen regardless. I'm just saying that for me, right there <laughs> that game, Yeah, dude, I, I'm I'm simple. Like, dude, I'm just telling you, like, if you go to an, an, an a fucking MSI, like you go to an international event, you don't practice, like, you just get replaced on the spot. It's not that simple. <clears throat> it's that simple. I believe that fundamentally. If I were to show up at MSI and I didn't practice, you well, fucking replace me on the spot. That's how it should be. And I said, what? fuck this shit. Like, what was my shit. comment? There's to... no way this is allowed. There's no way this is allowed. My comment to Papa Smithy is that there's 600 LP difference between Quad and Jensen. <laughs> oh, no, so... and I agree with you, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, uh, there I'm is a 1600 saying, LP I'm difference. Same thing. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, there's no fucking way. I'm saying, like, from an ethic, like, work ethic perspective, like, this is just not allowed. Like, you can't. Like, dude, I didn't even play Well, look, I was trying to stop you know, it before summer, it even happened, like, and I know that you know that. I'm just saying, okay? And I have no problem yeah. with him, with, with, I have no problem, I have no, like, that's the thing. I don't give a fuck about, like, okay, hold on, hold on. Keen, or Keen. grudges or anything like that. It's all No, I don't have any, I don't, I don't have any issue with that. It was when I, FlyQuest I just was trying to help. People, like, I only like, finish my point just so people sure, understand sure, sure, it go. loud and clear. Go. I have nothing against him personally. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. And oh. he might even have problems with me and the shit I did, and that's fucking great and dandy and fine. But fundamentally, when you are preparing for an international event, for a fucking whatever... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just can't be lower let's just pause coach, this talk, because I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it more, we'll talk about it after the game, because there's, there's like more on this. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sam, just bring it up again after the game if I forget. Oh, I, I, I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I, like, that's the thing, like, that, that's just me, man, that's the thing, after this win today, like, I feel like I can be me, and I, and this is me, bro, like, this is what I used to, like, I fucking shit, I, I don't give a fuck, man, I have no mercy when it comes to these things, I, I just want people to try anything, guys, 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 after the game, after the game, fuck, the game, the game, dude, the game, nothing's fucking happening, bro, Jack, yeah, yeah but yes. people, oh my god, they lane swapped, and they're like, dude, I fucking love lane swaps, I don't know why Jax walked to lane. I feel like he could have just TP'd the lane, but instead kill an Alistar and then he's got to save his TP. But I feel like his TP. If Skarner gangs top lane, I like him holding his TP. Because he wouldn't have like he wouldn't have waited for the wave to bounce anyway, and in, in this way he can leverage TP advantage because it'll stop Camille from crashing. That is my opinion. Now Skarner must gang for this to be true. Otherwise he will have just fallen behind in melee XP. But if Skarner gangs top, he still has time. Uh, if Skarner gangs top and stops Camille from crashing when she doesn't have TP and they get a good chunk on her, Jax can force a good advantage here. He could decide not to, and then I would, I would agree he probably should just TP and take the experience. Yeah, he. If they don't make that plan, I don't like him not TP. I agree with you. Yeah. It's not illegal. I, I would just would have preferred him to soak experience. I think experience is more valuable than TP at this point of the game if you're not playing with your jungler to set up a gank on the TPLS Camille and like, you know, force a good wave state for Jax. Yeah. 